Hey guys, what's up? Yokurama here, and I'm here today to bring you guys my first impression of Vivid Red Operation. Now, this is actually the second and A1 Pictures anime that is in this winter anime season. The first one is Oroshura, and that is a pretty damn good one so far. And now we got Vivid Red Operation. Now, the director, character designer, and series composer is Takamura Kuzuhiro, who was the character designer and director of Strike Wish. Is. And that series has a pretty decent following, so I know that a lot of people that were big fans of Strike Witches are looking forward to see what Vivid Red Operation has to offer. I personally have never seen Strike Witches, just never gave it a chance. I've, I've been hearing some mixed feelings about that one. I'll give it a try eventually. But Vivid Red, what are my thoughts after watching the first episode? Now, I kind of went into this without really expecting too much. Like, the synopsis that we got beforehand was not the most detailed one. All we know is that it's uh, action sci-fi and anime about a 14 year old girl and it takes place on some island with advanced technology and after watching the first episode it kind of feels like this is like a futuristic type of maho shoujo that's what the kind of feeling i got from this because at the end of the episode our main character akane uses this key thing that her grandfather gave to her to transform into a maho shoujo type person and it seems that there's going to be other girls in this series that will also transform later on you know looking at the picture. So I really, really like sci-fi anime, and if you know me, you guys should already know that. This takes place later on in the future. Her grandfather created this engine machine that powers pretty much the whole world. And there's these things called the Alone trying to destroy it. There was one attacking it, and the military was, you know, attacking it back, and it was like a little tiny war going on, and grandfather of Akane said that she is the only one that could stand up to these alones that could fight him and that's pretty much where it ended she transformed saved her friend and her grandfather asked do you want to save the planet or something like that now the weirdest part about this episode was probably her grandfather doing some sort of experiment it exploded and his consciousness was transferred into a stuffed animal yep that's that's it he, his body was just pushed into the freezer and now he's a stuffed animal and I, I don't know how long he's gonna be a stuffed animal for in the series but he's a he's a stuffed animal Animal. But yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts I really have on this on this um, anime after the first episode. It's not nothing great, nothing amazing, but still, you know, I got some enjoyment from it. But apart from that, if this wasn't sci-fi, I probably wouldn't really care too much about this anime. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of this episode. If you guys watched it, also like the video. It helps out a lot, and I very much appreciate it. Also, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed these sort of first impressions, episode reviews views and anime news and all that kind of good stuff. I'm Yokurama and baby I'm out. Peace.